to lock your acumen, you feel like, wow. I didn't realize I didn't have um, any more storage space on my phone. I had to go in and clear a few things up. Um, just gonna finish off. I got a few more scriptures and I'll just entitle this next part, part two of Look to the Hills. I'm gonna go back in Isaiah, the 55th chapter, and start back off with the seventh verse. And it says, Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto Yahweh, and he will have mercy upon him, and to our power, for he will abundantly pardon. And I said I was gonna skip down a little bit. I said, Go to verse 9. It says, For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways. And my thoughts than your thoughts. And I went down Isaiah 55 and 11. It says, So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. And when you follow after the commands of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, then his words will not return void. And they will prosper where unto he has sent them. And this is part of Akim and the few Akwa leaning not to our own understanding, but looking to the hills from which come our strength. Let's go to 2 Ezra, the 16th chapter, back in the 16th chapter, but just the 17th verse. <clears throat> it says, Woe is me. Woe is me. Who will deliver me in those days? And you got every right to say, woe is me, woe is me, and wonder who will deliver me in those days. If you not listening to what Yahweh Yahweh Shah has to say, if you're not only not listening, but doing, being a not just a hearer of the word, but being a doer of the word. This is Matthew 15 and 8. This people draw nigh unto me with their mouth and honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. So don't think you're getting over on Yahweh, Yahweh Shai saying, oh, I love the Lord. I love the Lord. You're saying you love the Lord, but you're not doing what thus says Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. Let's go from there to 1 John 2, 2 and 4. 1 John 2nd chapter 4 verse says, he that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar. So you don't love Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, because you're not keeping his commandments. You're nothing more than a liar. You're, you're full of deceit, and therefore the Holy Spirit would not abide with you to teach you wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. So it says, and he's, 1 John 2 and 4, He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in him. And from there, we're going to go to stay in first John. We're going to go to the fifth chapter down to the third and fourth verse. And it explains here in the fifth, first John, fifth chapter, third verse. Who loves Yahweh, Yahweh Shai? For this is the love of Yahweh, that we keep his commandments and his commandments are not grievous. For whatsoever is born of Yahweh overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Plainly put, it's simple. Follow Yahweh Yahweh Shai. Do what Yahweh Yahweh Shai says. And things will be well with you. Let's go to Numbers 23 and 19. Yahweh is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Hath he said, and shall he not do it? Or hath he spoken, and shall he not make it good? Everything that he's spoken has come to pass. And everything that he shall, everything that he's spoken has come to pass. And everything that he said he's going to do, he's doing and has done. Goes back to Isaiah 55, 
55 and 11, which I brought out earlier. Let's look at Jeremiah 15, 16, and 17. Thy words were found, and I did eat them. And thy word was unto me the joy and rejoicing of mine heart. For I am called by thy name, O Yahweh, power of hosts. I sat not in the assembly of the mockers, nor rejoiced. I sat alone because of thy hand, for thou hast filled me with indignation. Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai has filled us with indignation to the point where we don't want to sit with people who are not like-minded. People who are not trying to study the word. People who are not wanting to know the truth. People who are not wanting to come out of America and be entangled with this society, entangled with the, the affairs of this world. We don't, we, we don't care for them at all. Let's go to Psalms 71 11 to back that up. Psalms 7 and 11, Salakia. God, Yahweh judges the righteous and Yahweh is angry with the wicked every day. I'm telling you right there. In the same way Yahweh, Yahweh Shah feels with the wicked, that's the same way we feel. I, I, I'll drive home the point even further. We're going to go to Psalms. We're going to stay in Psalms. Psalms 139 and 21. Do not I hate them, O Yahweh, that hate thee. And am not I grieved with those that rise up against thee? Psalms 139 and 21. 